Hello, it's Elder here. And today I want to talk to you about my favorite conditioning tool, the kettlebell. And specifically about two new additions that I added to my NTC headquarters from Kettlebell Kings. Within my Warrior Zero project, I recently uh, released a new kettlebell program called Force Factor Kettlebell. And new members are coming in and subscribing and asking me right off the bat questions like, which kettlebell should I get? Which kettlebell is right for me? My sister has a kettlebell. Is it okay if I use her kettlebell? So within this uh, review, I want to answer a few of those questions. So let's get into it. Now, over the years, I've collected a plethora of uh, different types of kettlebells. So I certainly have uh, experience uh, with those kettlebells and all of them serve a purpose. So if I were to answer the question right off the bat, which kettlebell should I get? Uh, when I'm getting started with kettlebell training, my answer would be the one that you could get your hands on the fastest. Kettlebells have become very popular over the last couple of years, so you could find all sorts of kettlebells, adjustable kettlebells, kettlebells with Bluetooth, kettlebells that connect to apps, I mean, you name it, and it's uh, pretty much out there available for you. But for the purpose of, uh, let's say, this review, I'm going to stick with the two more popular uh, types of kettlebells. The first style that I want to get into today is uh, competition style or sports style. And basically with these kettlebells, the weight changes, but the dimensions and the size of the bell stays relatively the same. And this would make sense because they are used for competition. So for your form to basically remain the same and hone in those attributes, uh, the fact that the size remains the same, obviously bodes well for uh, those athletes. The other type of kettlebell would be a solid or let's say hard style kettlebell and these are made of solid cast iron so as the weight increases the size of the bell gets bigger and that also goes uh, with the handle let's say on the competition style handle is always going to be the same size with uh, let's say the hard style kettlebell or the solid uh, cast iron kettlebells the handle will continue to increase from a smaller bell to a bigger bell up to a 24 kilogram kettlebell then from there basically the handle stays the same size and just the bell becomes bigger with all of that being said there are differences in kettlebells that would make certain ones at least to me more appealing and more attractive than others and i want to get into some of those features because that's a cool thing about these kettlebell kings they are actually bundled uh, with the features that let's say i approve of and i look for in my kettlebells so a few of the features that I do like about the Kettlebell Kings, and I'll start out with the competition bell. You know, first off, their logo. It's nice and recessed in here, and uh, other bells that I have, that's not the case. So while you're uh, cleaning, rack position, pressing, things like that, ends up aggravating your uh, arms that much more. The uh, other thing is that it's clearly labeled. A lot of these bells aren't, so nice big number there telling you the weight of the actual kettlebell and the other thing that's very cool and uh, also I find different is the fact that there is no welding on this kettlebell and other kettlebells as I mentioned earlier in the competition bells they get heavier even though they stay the same size and they do that by putting fillers in there whether it's ball bearings sand things like that well kettlebell kings doesn't do that they use one mold for each size bell and as you could tell it's completely hollow and let's say just within my experience, uh, especially within our Warrior Zero project where we throw kettlebells around to put it lightly, after a bit of time, you'll start hearing some rattling and uh, really not a huge issue, but especially for those that are focused on competition and things like that and every little thing makes a difference, uh, that's something that you definitely wanna look out for. Now the cast iron or solid cast iron Kettlebell Kings kettlebell. A lot of times, uh, most of the time, to be honest with you, when I do buy a uh, uh, cast iron or solid cast iron uh, kettlebell, the handle itself requires some sanding. What's cool about the uh, Kettlebell Kings is that they took care of that for you, and they also put a nice powder coat on here. It's a very well-balanced bell, uh, just like the uh, competition one. Same uh, thing with the logo that I mentioned earlier fits in there nicely, uh, doesn't cause any more aggravation or uh, irritation than it has to. Uh, here, cool little feature, not only does it have uh, the weight marked in kilograms, but it also has it in pounds. And uh, also the markings here, 
with the uh, the green markings once again as the weight changes so does the color same with the competition bells except here on the cast iron bells they're just painted in here and nice little added touch uh, when you need to grab something and grab it fast and don't have to worry about sitting there checking the weights so no welding so it's made from one uh, one mold which is also nice and uh, also a lifetime warranty that once again i don't think you will ever need and the other thing that set these guys apart is not only do they offer free shipping which is a huge deal sometimes shipping costs more than the actual bell itself but they also have some of the best prices out there for a quality kettlebell so bottom line if you are in the market for a kettlebell regardless of style definitely take a look at these kettlebell kings I've been very impressed with my findings over the last couple months of testing them out and I will certainly be adding more Kettlebell Kings kettlebells. This is Helder. I hope that you found this review helpful.